Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the doors at Mayweather Promotions? The shocking news is that Leonard Ellaby, the charismatic CEO who made Floyd Mayweather JR, a boxing legend, has formally left the organization. However, why? We're getting into all the juicy details and unseen turmoil that contributed to this unexpected separation in this video. There's more to this narrative than meets the eye, ranging from severe mental strain and strategic differences to conflicting future views. In an exclusive interview, Ellaby eventually breaks his silence, explaining his resignation and teasing his upcoming major actions in the boxing industry. What does Floyd do next? What role does emerging talent Javonta Tank Davis play in this? With Richard Schaefer, a titan of the industry, joining Mayweather Promotions, what does the future hold for the organization? Prepare yourself for a thrilling ride filled with shocking discoveries, surprising turns, and an inside look at the power moves that have the potential to completely change the boxing world. Press play now, and you'll be amazed at what happens next. Although Leonard Ellaby has come forward to explain why it occurred, he puts undue mental strain on you, causing you to make numerous errors. The former CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellaby, has finally spoken out about leaving the organization that he co-founded with boxing icon Floyd Mayweather Jr. Ellaby revealed some details about the reasons for the breakup and alluded to his future boxing goals in an exclusive in exclusive interview. There are rumors circulating that Leonard may be departing from Mayweather Promotions. Man, I don't listen to any of that stuff. I'm doing what I do. It wasn't a dramatic exit or a bad falling out, Ellaby said. Floyd and I have known each other for a long time. We've achieved a lot together, but sometimes even the best partnerships need to evolve. Ellaby made reference to a change in vision for the promotional company, although specifics were not provided. Floyd's earned the right to enjoy the fruits of his labor, he stated. He wants to focus on a more relaxed pace, spend time with family and mentor young fighters coming up. That's great for him, but I still have the fire in my belly. I want to be aggressive, make waves, and keep pushing the boundaries of the sport. This fits with some of the theories put forth on the divide. After retiring in 2017, Mayweather, who had been unbeaten in his professional career, moved into a more administrative role. Although he is still quite influential in the boxing world, it appears that he is now more concerned with developing young talent and doing sporadic exhibition bouts. Ellaby, on the other hand, is well known for his unwavering work ethic and keen business sense. He played a key role in transforming Mayweather promotions into a dominant force by securing profitable agreements and deftly navigating the convoluted realm of boxing politics. It makes sense that he would want to have a bigger say in how the sport develops. The continuing conflict between Mayweather and young talent Gavonta Tank Davis was also discussed in the conversation. Ellaby remarked, a lot of people don't know what Floyd does. There's a lot of misunderstanding there. Floyd sees immense potential in Tank, but there have been disagreements about the path forward. My role was always to mediate, find common ground, and ensure everyone's interests were protected. Moving forward, I hope those differences can be resolved because Tank is a special talent and boxing needs him to shine. Elabai stayed vague when questioned about his plans for the future. He said, I have a lot on the table. There are exciting opportunities with established fighters and up and coming prospects. I'm looking to build a team of hungry individuals who share my passion for the sport. You'll see me back in the ring, so to speak, but this time it'll be from the other side of the ropes. Undoubtedly, Elabai's exit signifies a major change for Mayweather promotions. Although his knowledge and experience would be missed, it also creates opportunities for new endeavors and leadership philosophies. Ellaby's competitive drive and commitment to boxing are evident, even though it remains to be seen if he can repeat his success in a new endeavor. Ellaby is a well-known personality in the boxing industry, having been instrumental in Floyd Mayweather J.R. Dot's ascent in the early 2000s. Ellaby, who is currently 58 years old, has played a significant role in the development and expansion of Mayweather Promotions as its CEO. Elabai has reportedly chosen to resign from his post in order to spend more time with his family and loved ones. Despite years of devoted devotion. On Thursday, June 13th, Mayweather Promotions posted a poignant statement on Mayweather's Instagram account announcing Elabai's departure. The message conveyed sincere appreciation for Elabai's outstanding guidance and constant commitment throughout the years. It emphasized his crucial role in a number of business ventures that have greatly aided in the organization's development. Leonard has been an integral part of our team contributing to numerous business endeavors that have played a pivotal role in the success of Mayweather Promotions, the statement continued. After years of hard work and dedication, Leonard has made the heartfelt decision to step down as CEO to spend more time with his family and loved ones. 
We have the utmost respect for his decision and are incredibly grateful for his leadership that has helped shape Mayweather Promotions into the thriving organization it is today. Additionally, Richard Schaefer's hiring as Mayweather Promotions' new CEO was disclosed in the announcement. Schaefer was Oscar de la Hoya's co-worker at Golden Boy Promotions and is well-liked in the boxing community. Schaefer is anticipated to bring a plethora of knowledge and experience to his new position, having worked in financial and promotional boxing for over 40 years combined. Mayweather Promotions was optimistic about the future, saying, As we move forward, we are excited to announce that Mayweather Promotions will be joining forces with Richard Schaefer, a highly sought-after finance expert and a phenomenal founder in the world of promotional boxing. With over 40 years of experience combined, we will expand our presence by establishing Mayweather headquarters in Los Angeles. Our goal is to elevate Mayweather promotions to global success, supporting fighters worldwide and assisting them in making rewarding business decisions that will benefit them well beyond their boxing careers. The organization is excited about this new phase in Mayweather promotions ongoing success on a worldwide scale. They think that by bringing Schaefer's experience to the table and establishing a new headquarters in Los Angeles, they would be able to accomplish their objectives and grow their influence in the boxing world. The 47-year-old Floyd Mayweather Jr. declared retirement from boxing in 2017 following his victory over UFC fighter Conor McGregor. With this win, he improved his stellar 5 0 career record. After ending his career as a professional boxer, Mayweather has taken part in a number of exhibition fights, which have included contests against YouTubers Logan Paul and Deji. He has been able to continue showing off his fighting prowess and staying in the public eye thanks to these exhibition bouts. Under Richard Schaefer's direction, Mayweather Promotions hopes to expand on Ellaby's achievements and do even more in the future. The organization's goal is to assist fighters all around the world in making financial decisions that will aid them long after their fighting careers. With a base in Los Angeles and the benefit of Schaefer's knowledge, Mayweather Promotions is well positioned to grow and leave a lasting impression on the boxing community. Though they appear to be making an effort to maintain a favorable image, it appears that Ellaby and Mayweather have a history of prior misunderstandings that resulted in Floyd firing Ellaby in 2014. A major change in their working relationship occurred when Mayweather Jr. made his longtime business manager, Leonard Ellaby, aware of their public disagreements. After being an integral member of Mayweather's squad for 18 years, Ellaby found himself in conflict with the boxing champion, sparking rumors about their future working together. In an interview, Mayweather revealed that their relationship had reached a stage where they were no longer in agreement with each other. I think we're just getting to a point where we're outgrowing each other, Mayweather stated. He went on to say that their professional relationship had been strained by opposing views and recent management decisions. A specific instance that brought these distinctions to light occurred during Mayweather's matchup with Marcos Maidana. The fact that Mayweather's WBC and WBA titles were up for grabs in both weight classes without his consent infuriated him. He believed that this was a serious mistake and an indication of the growing distance between him and Elibai. Moreover, personal issues appeared to be involved as well. Mayweather brought up the improper handling of his daughter's ticket arrangements, which hurt him greatly. He expressed his dissatisfaction, saying, The ticket arrangements were totally wrong because my daughter was sitting in the front row and her mother wasn't sitting next to her breakdowns in communication was still another serious problem. Mayweather emphasized that solid communication and compromise, which he believed were now lacking, had always been the foundation of their success. He used his father Floyd Mayweather Sassar as an example, stating that it was extremely unprofessional for him to get crucial fight preparations too late. Mayweather made it clear that he has no animosity towards Ellaby, despite these problems. I'm not mad at him. There's no hard feeling like I hate the guy. Not at all. No hard feelings whatsoever stated the man. He compared their circumstances to a divorce, in which both parties merely outgrow one another and move on. Ellaby had served in several capacities with the money team, including business manager, administrative assistant, and personal assistant to Mayweather. He rose to the role of CEO of Mayweather Promotions by 2014, demonstrating his considerable power inside the company. Mayweather's annoyance wasn't exclusive to Ellaby. He talked about how his team had changed, with someone else wrapping his hands for the Maidana fight instead of Rafael Garcia. This alteration was a sign of bigger things coming for the money team, as Mayweather wanted a tighter-knit team atmosphere. When the boxer faced off again in May 2015, he made more squad changes seem likely. In an attempt to take greater control over his career, Mayweather said, once people start making power moves without communicating with me, 
then I think it's time for us to move our separate ways. When we fast forward to 2024, we can see that both Mayweather's career and Mayweather promotions underwent a sea change throughout this time. These initial indications of disagreement may have contributed to Leonard Ellaby's eventual resignation as CEO. Ellaby's resignation was presented as a mutually agreeable and courteous choice, despite their professional paths diverging 10 years earlier. Leonard Ellaby, the long-standing CEO of Mayweather Promotions and a close ally of the famous Floyd Mayweather JR, made a shocking disclosure in 2022 that rocked the boxing world. Ellaby, who had supported Mayweather during his incredible ascent to become the unbeaten champion in five divisions, made a contentious remark that rocked their working partnership. Ellaby disputed the notion that boxing legend Floyd Mayweather was the greatest fighter of all time. Given their long-standing close relationship and mutual respect, Mayweather found this statement very upsetting and painful. The foundation of Mayweather's legacy a perfect 5-0-0 record, and a standing as one of the most intelligent and cunning fighters in sports history seemed to be undercut by Ellaby's remarks. The event started when Ellaby was questioned by fans about Vasil Lomachenko's ranking on the pound-for-pound -pound list in spite of his defeat to Teofimo Lopez. Many were shocked when Ellaby retorted, he's the best fighter ever, LOLL. This casual comment suggested that Ellaby's opinions had changed, in sharp contrast to his previous steadfast support for Mayweather. Ellaby made it clear before Mayweather's much-awaited fight with Manny Pacquiao in 2015 once again, Floyd is out to prove that he is the best ever. I know he will on Saturday night. This statement reflected the belief held by Mayweather's team, supporters and the boxing community that Mayweather was in a class of his own. Ellaby's views appeared to change over time though. As Mayweather moved from professional boxing into demonstrations and commercial endeavors, his unexpected support of Lomachenko as the greatest fighter of all time revealed this shift. With two Olympic gold medals under his belt, Lomachenko was a three-weight class champion and one of the most accomplished amateur boxers. In 18 professional fights, he had an outstanding record of 16 victories and two losses. Even so, his accomplishments were frequently seen as falling short of Mayweather's legendary career, despite their significance. For more than 20 years, Mayweather, who was renowned for his marketability, defensive prowess, and strategic acumen, ruled the boxing ring. The ramifications of Ellaby's remark were enormous. It revealed more serious problems in the Mayweather camp, maybe indicating long simmering tensions beneath the surface. Their relationship's early warning flags, including the arguments and misunderstandings that came to light during the 2014 Marcos Maidana brawl, could be linked to this strife. Mayweather was well known for his ability to manage his business and professional life with extreme attention to detail. Conflict was inevitable when someone as close as Ellaby deviated from his strict standards. Ellaby's public remarks on Lomachenko may have been the tipping point, indicating that their professional careers had outgrown one another. Presently, Mayweather Promotions is at a crossroads after a recent leadership change. The resignation of longtime CEO Leonard Ellaby is a chance for a new viewpoint, and the selection of industry titan Richard Schaefer represents a calculated action that could change the course of the business. Because Schaefer and Mayweather have worked together in the past, his arrival is intriguing. Schaefer was instrumental in the planning of several of Mayweather's most famous and profitable bouts while he was employed with Golden Boy Promotions. Having developed a report, there is hope for a smooth transfer and a strong future together. Schaefer's impact, though, goes much beyond his prior affiliation with Mayweather. He has a distinguished career in the boxing business and has cultivated fruitful partnerships with notable individuals such as Oscar de la Hoya. His business endeavors, such as Probellum and Ringstar Sports, demonstrate his ability to successfully negotiate the complexities of boxing promotion. Mayweather Promotions needs this depth of knowledge to enter a new phase of growth and establish a strong position for itself in the market. Under Schaefer's leadership, industry observers predict a strategic change. His demonstrated capacity to spot and seize profitable possibilities, as well as his in-depth knowledge of the boxing industry, will probably be key factors in Mayweather Promotions' ascent to success. The company may explore new growth opportunities and strengthen its current position by utilizing Schaefer's vision and skills. Schaefer's official title at Mayweather Promotions is still pending, but his influence will surely be significant in determining the company's trajectory. By partnering with Schaefer, Mayweather is making a deliberate move that will leverage the company's track record of success and strategic vision to drive it even further. Talent acquisition is a crucial area where Schaefer's impact may be felt. When it comes to boxers, Mayweather Promotions' roster is currently less than that of titans in the industry like Top Rank or Matchroom. Schaefer's ability to spot and develop young talent might be extremely helpful in adding promising players to Mayweather Promoter Promotions' roster. 
His well-established contacts in the boxing community may also open the door for fantastic bouts between Mayweather Promotions boxers and athletes from other camps, which would raise the company's prestige and bring in a sizable amount of money from pay-per-view sales. Richard Schaefer's hiring at Mayweather Promotions marks the start of a new phase for the business. With his wealth of knowledge, keen sense of strategy, and well-established connections in the boxing community, he is well-positioned to have a big influence. Mayweather Promotions is well-positioned to not only sustain its present success, but also potentially reshape its place in the cutthroat boxing promotion industry with Mayweather's support and Schaefer's direction. Although Ellaby's wish to prioritize his family was stated as the official reason, a closer examination indicates a possible correlation with Mayweather's recent statements from Dubai and his outlook for the company's future. Mayweather gave some hint of a possible change of focus when he spoke from Dubai. According to news sources, he is looking into more ambitious real estate projects, which could be a change from his prior focus on expensive residences. This would indicate a desire to assign some responsibilities within Mayweather promotions so he can take advantage of other commercial opportunities. Even with his commitment, Ellaby might not have been the best candidate for this change in vision. Although he was an excellent manager of Mayweather's career when he was actively fighting, Mayweather may now need a leader who can navigate a more diverse commercial environment. Schaefer's appointment is a fantastic fit for these prospective goals. Schaefer has a strong grasp of Mayweather's fighting style and brand, as evidenced by his track record of producing some of the fighters' biggest bouts while they were partners at Golden Boy Promotions. Because of their prior familiarity, which builds trust and makes the transfer easier, Mayweather is able to concentrate on other endeavors without jeopardizing his fighting career. Schaefer's impact, nevertheless, extends beyond sentimentality. His background goes well beyond Mayweather's training grounds. His fruitful partnerships with Oscar de la Hoya and the founding of businesses like Ringstar Sports and Probellum demonstrate a broad range of abilities in talent management, contract negotiation and navigating the complexities of the boxing industry. This extensive knowledge is in line with Mayweather's possible ambition to broaden the appeal and variety of Mayweather Promotions products. Talent acquisition is one area where Schaefer's knowledge could be quite helpful. Compared to industry titans, Mayweather Promotions currently has a smaller stable. Shakur Stevenson, a boxer Mayweather recently showed interest in signing, is one example of the kind of potential talent Schaefer can find and develop into a star. Schaefer's existing ties may also open doors for fighters from Mayweather promotions to face athletes from other camps in highly anticipated bouts. This crossover appeal has the potential to raise awareness of Mayweather promotions and bring in a sizable sum of money from pay-per-view sales, a tactic that Mayweather has become an expert at using throughout his career. Schaefer was brought in by Floyd Mayweather with a well-thought-out strategy. Elabai is unquestionably dedicated, but Schaefer has a wider breadth of experience that fits nicely with Mayweather's possible intentions for economic diversification. Schaefer is well positioned to not just sustain the company's success, but also potentially reshape its future, thanks to his demonstrated ability to spot talent and his familiarity with the boxing world and Mayweather's brand. This might entail acquiring talented boxers like Shakur Stevenson and investigating profitable cross-promotional bouts, enhancing Mayweather promotion standing in the boxing world. Schaefer's entry ushers in a new era for the business, one that will build on Mayweather's legacy while also paving the way for an even more promising future. So what are your thoughts? Please leave your comments in the space provided below. For more updates, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Until we meet again.